I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Supposed to know. Ask him yourself. But he radioed from the ring. Said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone. I killed him myself. That, with my <laughs> let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the match? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Huh? Well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a few, brother. Artyom! How are you, friend? I see Party, you're all me, right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration. Party. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Hello, how you are you the nurses in the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him. Brother, 
Привет, Артем. You're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. official. Yeah. I knew it. Like so kids. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. The only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> ah, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice, if you learned we've been to a Hansa off limit zone. <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go and turn here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. from the roof and decided to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here. Gave them hell. 
Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
Watchmen broke through. Sure. Workers are down for them. If anything comes through, shoot. Attention! The turntable is switching on. Shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again, okay? Too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Ah, you're mine. Time to fix. 
fit that fine jacket, huh? Yeah. Getting old isn't much fun. Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All on Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. So I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey guys, Be careful. What's going on? Hey! Hey! Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. <laughs> Artyom, incoming, two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. 
Let us get away. We have to do something about them. Something about the guards, please. All clear. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right, we don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine, it should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the Jim. turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us.
running out of time. Alert! All group! To the hangar! We see the enemy! together. Engineer. What do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't this you dare something? give me lip, soldier! Here, the Colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Anna! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What Anna. the hell? Hurt you? What are you doing here? Let's talk about surprise. Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't. Shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot our children! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this life down. No shit, watch us left. No, I won't be quiet! What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities, dead, all of them, women, children. I'll tell you all later, everything. Gramps, what's going on out there, down this road? The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course, we have to make haste though, they got the cruiser. All right, gentlemen, Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess. And I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call, and you're misunderstanding. Well, I'll jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are with the us. The no one behind. If not, then who? who? All right, Spartans. Throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. 
Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! Get 
Come on! I'm going to stop them! They made me! They made me! Saboteurs! We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why the long faces? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Oh, they'd shoot me on sight if I returned now. It doesn't matter. Too many lives are at stake. Too many lives have already been sacrificed 
Is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, the Are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time! Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! <laughs> Come on! How about Aurora? The Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> 